what is up guys god bless you all welcome to another video today we continue working with the b14 all right so yeah we're working with the b14 today again and what i'm going to do now i'm going to try to extract the ball on the head so let's go Alright, so yep, it's a new day and successfully I was able to extract that ball from the head. Let me show you quick. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to install the new, the new stud. I'm going to be working with that right now. Also, I got a couple goodies. Let me show you quick. These are the goodies that I got for the car this time. <clears throat> and I got three of the four engine mounts on the car because working with them, I saw that they were blow, they were bad. So just got three of the fourth uh, mounts. Also, I got two of the exhaust manifold studs. And here we got the outlet and the inlet adapters for the T28 turbo. Um, this guy is gonna be on the turbo as soon as I figure out what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna work with these guys right now. And this one's gonna be on eventually. So right now, have the car apart. It's mess everywhere. So I'm going to be working with that right now. So let's go. guys so yeah so you guys saw I got the uh, studs in and also I just mount the manifold for now when I make sure everything fits and it looks like it was perfect I'm super excited right now so happy let me show you quick So here is the new stud that I put. Um, this one was fine. I just removed it so I had an idea how to work with the other one. And over here is the one I was working with. Um, it's not the prettiest one. Um, I kind of messed up a little bit on the head. But what I can say is that there is nice and tight. That thing doesn't move at all. It's, it's solid there. So even though I messed it up a little, um, it's solid in there, it's going nowhere, it's super tight, it doesn't move at all. And I, I just had the money fall on and it, it looks like it's gonna it's gonna work fine, so that's good. What I'm gonna do now, just uh, gonna get wanna go get ready and start swapping the engine mount since I have it here. I have one here, 
which is to the balls over here. I also have the other one, which is right here as well. I'm gonna remove this one, and I'm going to go ahead and actually mount the alternator right now. So let's go. All right, so successfully I got a new alternator. I put a new bell because I can use the old one, and hopefully it will get it. I mean, it should get it. It should get the job done. It's tight enough. Um, I don't see um, why I should have an issue. But I put a couple zip ties just to route the wire in the best way, and everything is nice and super clean. Slightly tight. It's not the best one, but it should get the job done anyway. I need to put all the power steering pump stuff back, but I haven't do it because I want to do the oil change and my oil filter is over here. Again, this one is a high pour SR20 and the oil filter is right there. So this one is, I believe it's a 2006 Camry oil filter because the SR20 low pour doesn't fit, doesn't fit anyway. So I'm going to do that. I have to get it to do it. What I'm gonna do now, just gonna get ready to uh, remove this motor mount, which basically is out from here. It's out from here. And let me show you why I wanna change this one. You can see how bad this one is. Let me do the engine mount. And also I'm gonna do this one as well, which is actually two bolts. So this one, <laughs> this is why I wanna change this one. You, can, you guys can see, look at this. So I'm gonna, this one is out, which this one is the one that mounts over here. And I'm going to remove this bolt, put the new one in. The new one shakes a little bit, so I might put some silicone on it just to prevent it to move in a lot. Anyway, this thing is garbage, so <laughs> probably it's gonna shake anyway, but let me get this done. Let me do that engine mount as well. And then I'm just gonna start prepping all this as well. It has like old gasket from the old one. So I'm just gonna remove and clean all this and it should be good. So we're making progress. You still a lot of things to do, so let's go. <laughs> So as you guys saw, I got the engine mounts on. This one is ready. I have the two bolts, everything is tied up. Also, I have a tornado on, as you guys saw earlier. The wiring is all done as well. I got the positive. Over here, everything is tight. The plug and also the ground is over here all tucked. Have the wiring over here just all kind of hidden. Have a zip tie here. I'm gonna put another one over here. Got the brand new engine mount also put on. I got the broken stock. It's also ready. It's right there. As you guys can see, that thing is solid. It's going nowhere at all. And I have the new one here. I put the new one over here because this one is a couple millimeters shorter. 
so I'd rather have this one longer over there so I got that one and as you guys can see everything is all of them are there also I clean the surface everything is nice and clean you guys can see how shiny it looks because the old gasket got stuck to it and it was bumpy so that's all set and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all my mess over here and that's gonna be for this one thank you guys for watching you guys have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one